So yesterday I got to watch a film on Netflix, which I have to say was added pretty quickly on Netflix, being a not Netflix exclusive film and just coming out in 2023. They put it on that site or streaming service, whatever you want to call it, pretty quick. And that is To Catch a Killer. Um, I've heard talk about this film. I've seen one review on YouTube of it, like couple months ago. I do like Shailene Woodley. She's in one of my favorite films of all time, The Fault in Our Stars. Um, and when she pops up, she's fine. I haven't watched the Divergent series. I'm not really interested in those, but her as an actress, I don't mind her at all, even though I have heard some criticisms on her uh, of various kinds, but uh, she's all right. She's good looking too, so there's that as well. Ben, ben Mendelsohn is in this film. Ben Mendelsohn, every once in a while, I'm sure this happens to everybody, you get this actor or actress that you just start seeing everywhere where previously you didn't. I swear to God in the last week, he showed up in like three things I looked up. I want to watch The Outsider, which he's in. I want to watch Bloodline on Netflix, the TV series, which he's in. And then I watched this and he's in it again. So Ben Mendelsohn is pretty much showing up in everything as of late. And he does a killer job in this film as well. Um, what we have going on here is the film opens up with some kind of off beat music for what's going like what the theme of the film is because to catch a killer pops up and you have this like upbeat lively music on new year's eve and then maybe 15 seconds into the movie you get some sniper shootings and all over the city there's just people like dropping like flies because of this um sniper that's uh you know taking people down and then the uh police force which is uh led by ben mendelson and uh uh, what's her name? Shailene Woodley, who plays a, a girl named Eleanor, who's starting off on the police force. She's kind of, she's kind of building her way up. And uh, I thought she, like, how should I put this? I, I thought she would be a little bit harder to take seriously as a cop because she has such a baby face and she doesn't act tough at all. <laughs> and she's, she is hard to take seriously, but she's, she has more spunk in her, her character does anyway, that I, that I, that I thought she was going to have. It's actually not that bad to watch her, and she, she actually has a lot of determination, and her character development is really, really good, and the writing in this film is really, really good, and I thought overall this film was really well done. It was actually shot in 2020, which is cool. They mentioned the pandemic, but it's not like everybody's wearing masks or anything. Um... But yeah, it was it was shot in 2020. It was shot like in a two month period or something like that. And I guess it was shelved until now. Um, very well done film. The only thing about this film that drove me absolutely nuts is I have literally never seen dumber law enforcement and more incompetent law enforcement in a film in such a long time. These cops suck. <laughs> um, you know. At a, at a mall where the, the shooter starts shooting and, and security is trying to take him down. And I guess it's trying to show, you know, how realistic, how realistic a killer could probably shoot somewhere up before anything actually happens. And any, you know, protection shows up to, like, take care of the situation. Because this, this guy is literally just chilling for a while and then he sits on a chair, he does some things like 30 seconds pass and then he gets up, he just casually walks away and then finally the SWAT shows up. I'm just like, what is going on? Um, there's one scene involving this guy, he's in some high rise building or some kind of apartment and the, the police like come into the apartment room, building, whatever, um, and this guy has the ability to take a chair, break the window, and jump out the window before this police force can, like, grab a hold of him and stop him from doing what he's doing. Like, I'm telling you, outside of Ben Mendelsohn and Eleanor, played by Shailene Woodley, every other law enforcement in this film is absolute ass to the point where I'm like, okay, there's no better deserving person to be <laughs> recruited than... Eleanor, played by Shailene Woodley. It's, it's just so ridiculous. Um, this film also, it goes into a direction towards the end, like in the third act of the film and the climax of the film, which was really interesting. And without spoiling anything, something happens, I'd say like 10 minutes before the film ends or somewhere along those lines, um, involving Shailene Woodley's character, which she does something that I was... I smiled, and <laughs> this film is like half a star up just because of that. 
Um, I'm not going to get into more details than that, but uh, yeah, she, she does something that I was like, whoa, I, I, I actually have never seen that in a film before uh, with the situation and what happens. I've never seen that happen before, and it was really, really cool and um, pretty badass, so... Um, there's that, and I just like the the villain in this character in this uh, film, and and you know the directions and the the plots and and what happens um, with monologues and with his story and stuff like that. Like it's a really well written film, like I said, and character development is really good in this one. And also, there's some things that happen that take you aback, like. A lot of surprises. There's things that you don't expect to happen that do happen, and that makes it for interesting. Some weird shots. Um, I don't know what it is what it is about certain directors, and they like to they like to have the camera upside down for some reason. Like they'll shoot the city, and the buildings are upside down, and you see the sky at the bottom. They do that a few times in this film, and not just with cities, but with certain shots where they'll just frame them upside down for whatever reason. I don't get the thematic elements behind that personally. Um, I just find it kind of like, hey, look what I can do, you know, visual candy kind of thing. I don't, I, I've never understood the purpose, but I see it done a lot. And I just find it like, why are you shooting things upside down? And it's, I don't see the relevance of it. But uh, yeah, other than that, like, I, I think it's a really, really solid film. It came on, it, it came at a four out of five for me. So um, that's my score on it. And uh I thought it was solid. So it's streaming on Netflix right now if you want to check it out. And uh, it's a recommend from me. So if you like Shailene Woodley and Ben Mendelsohn and uh, you like crime thrillers, I would definitely say go uh, go seek this one out now that it's available. So subscribe to Morgan Film Fan if you like to listen to my voice or if you like my film reviews. I'll be back with more soon, so stay tuned for those. Check out what's on the channel already. Stay tuned for what's coming. Until next review, have a good one. Take care and cheers.